hello and welcome to the party i'm not gonna let this stop me from living my summer life i can still find moments of joy amidst this chaos that i feel like i have been experiencing kind of felt like i was in the clear and i'm not <laughs> I am going to be talking about a lot of health and medical things in this video. I am not asking for advice. This is a edited version and like I'm not sharing everything. I have doctors and friends and family who are helping me. I understand that comments like these come from a place of care and I really appreciate the love and care that I get on a lot of these videos as I've dealt with a lot. This this year but honestly for me the advice medically is what brings me a lot of anxiety so i ask you politely to please refrain from advising me in any way a little hope you're feeling better soon is always welcome buckle up the drama's about to begin and don't worry it's gonna continue in future videos okay bye friends and welcome back to Cassie Nelson Vlogs. It's so nice to see you. It is boiling hot in New York City. I'm about to go see Cats the Jellicle Ball. I'm very excited. I honestly have no idea what I'm getting myself into and I've never seen regular Cats the Musical before. So we're just gonna be along for the ride. I've got a lot of fun plans this week. I am drowning some emotional sorrows, which I will talk about at a later date. I'm not ready to discuss it yet. All you need to know is it's summer in the city and we're gonna have some fun. If you're new, hello, it's so nice to have you. I'm Cassie, I'm 25, I live in New York City. I'm a barista by day and a lover of life, romanticizing all the madness that's going down, mental health, riding the wave. I love to vlog and I'm so happy to have you here. I actually do though, before we get into cats and the rest of the madness this week, want to insert a little pride recap because I went to the pride parade on the final day of June with some friends and I haven't uploaded a vlog since and it was so much fun and just like such a phenomenal day so let's all for a moment pretend that it's still okay to be gay June is upon us rainbows are everywhere love is love hit it pride Cassie <laughs> USA, USA. Actually though, I am very stressed about what's going on politically. We don't need to talk about it. This vlog is about enjoying life. I'm wearing a cute little dress and I'm about to go downtown 
with my friend Ahon and watch a musical about cats, allegedly. I think that's what it's about. It's called Cats, the Jellicle Ball. I did get a BFA in acting in college, but I do not know a lot about musical theater. I enjoy learning from my musical theater friends. Also this dress, I thrifted in LA a while ago, like maybe two years ago. It is a nip slip danger zone. So I did double stick scotch tape this to my body and I'm just hoping for the best. I also have a crazy tan line and I got cupping done at physical therapy today. So I look a lot more presentable from the front than I do from the back. I'm just embracing it. Life is messy. Am I right or am I right? Enough of this. Let's hit the city. Let's have a fun week. Today is Tuesday, which is my Monday. So I worked all day today. I've got work for the rest of the week, but I also have a lot of fun plans because we're keeping things moving amidst the horrors. Happy you're here. Let's cats. <laughs> Magical. Magic colorful. It's, uh, Dance like you've never seen. Bodies thing. moving. Ways body, you could never body, move. Body, body. Body. The, the, the category is body. Category is body, glamour, <laughs> fabulous, cat. <laughs> meow. And Her. now we're in the ugly Oculus. And now we're in the Oculus. Welcome to New York. This stop is Broadway and West 63rd Street. Hello, it's Wednesday. I had to train someone at work today, so I was up bright and early at 5.05, and I got back from the show late last night. P.S. The show was phenomenal. If you're in New York City anytime when Cat's Jellicle Ball is at the PAC, you have to go. Also, that theater is something they've been building literally since I moved to New York City. It was beautiful inside. It was so magical and like really like cozy. Such a great energy and center for artists. So I'm very excited to see what art comes out of this new art center that New York City has. And Bill Rausch was the co-director of this show and he's the artistic director. He's formerly the artistic director of the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. He did a phenomenal job there. So I can only imagine what the programming is going to look like at this theater in New York City. I feel like a Bill Rausch fangirl, just like following him around the country, but he really is an amazing theater practitioner. And last night's show was truly amazing. I had a blast, but I'm very tired. I probably got six hours of sleep, trained someone all morning, had a meeting, chatted with some friends for a bit, and now I am home. I had a little snacky lunch situation, very toasty, and I'm about to have therapy in five minutes. I'm gonna get therapized. I could definitely use it. And then I'm going to happy hour with a friend. Um, and hopefully getting to bed early tonight. You can see the bag under my eye and my eye has started twitching. So definitely need a good night's sleep tonight, but I close at work tomorrow. I'm a barista. I don't know if I've said that. That's why I had to be up so early. Anyways, now that I'm sitting down and not moving, I'm feeling how tired I am. I did not sleep very well Monday night either leading into yesterday because my brain was mean to me. It happens sometimes. It happens to the best of us. But I'm gonna go be therapized. Peace and love.
sorry you're crooked. I'm doing my best. I started this vlog on Tuesday before going to the Jellicle Ball. This lamp is bothering me. Cats the Jellicle Ball. If you are in New York City, you simply must go, darling. It was phenomenal and I'm so grateful to my friend Ahun for being like, we have to go see this because we absolutely did have to go see that. Right before that happened, I had like an emotional, very emotional life change occur over the weekend. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. I, all in due time. Uh, emotional processing takes time. I'm a cancer moon, it's cancer season. We're working through it. I was like, I'm not gonna let this stop me from living my summer life. I had all these plans with my friends. I was like, I can still find moments of joy amidst this chaos that I feel like I have been experiencing for truly months now, if you've been following along for a sec. I have had this whole chronic pain journey that I've been on. I've been going to physical therapy for back pain. I've gotten x-rays, I've gotten blood work. I've gone through so many mental and emotional spirals and self-image things and just like I have been processing so much. Kind of felt like I was in the clear and I'm not, <laughs> but I was like I can still make the most of this week. Like I I'm still gonna enjoy the summer. This is my favorite season. This is my favorite time to be in New York City. Saw the Jellicle Ball, which was fabulous on Tuesday. Wednesday was a long day. I just worked and then had mental therapy, had physical therapy. Thursday evening, I was supposed to go have a little girls night at my friend's house. And then she tested positive for COVID. I came home that day with a little fever. So I was like, hmm, this isn't awesome. Called out of work for Friday, was at home all day Friday. My fever was gone and I tested negative for COVID. I don't know, I think it was a stress thing. I sometimes get stress fevers. I got one at the beginning of June. It's happening again. Friday night, I was supposed to go to my friend's Coney Island birthday, which obviously I didn't go to because I had called out of work that day. Felt better, worked Saturday morning, was supposed to go to a concert in the park and came home feeling yucky again and had a minor fever. Again, I believe stress related because I woke up feeling okay today for Sunday which is beach day. We took the subway out to Brighton Beach with my friend Anna Maria who's visiting and my friend Kai who lives out kind of closer to Brighton Beach. It was a beautiful sunny day. We were dipping in the water. I was like, I'm feeling so good. Finally, I'm getting to do the plans after having plan after plan canceled this week just because of random ass shit and um, we got there maybe a little afternoon, around three. It started pouring down rain and it truly felt like a personal attack. I was screaming at the sky, why me? So we went and sought shelter in a Russian restaurant nearby where a belligerently drunk Russian man kept coming up to us and trying to ask us to dance slash wanting to kiss us. And the managers had to guide him out like being a woman and getting harassed in the city, am I right? So anyways, I'm feeling kind of fucking cursed recently. I'm trying to maintain a positive attitude. I actually started the day off great. I like went to the gym and listened to these. There's an app called Superhuman that I've, I've been using for a couple months that I really like. They're kind of like affirmation style. They're not meditation, she calls them activations. And just like stepping into your future self and feeling gratitude for your life, all that kind of stuff. So. I went to the gym, I went for a run at the gym and was like doing all my exercises, listening to this thing, feeling grateful, feeling good, feeling like I am not a victim, I can turn my life around. And it's just like another thing happens. And I know like it's just rain, Cassie, but like today was fine. <laughs> today was the one plan that I got to do this week. I've just been feeling a lot and like kind of suffering TBH for so long now. And I am a believer in the universe and some kind of something that is guiding me towards the life I'm meant to live and my better self, my future self. And I believe in change, bringing positive growth, even if it feels hard. I'm totally on board for that. I, I am not necessarily like angry at life changing because life changes. And I, in fact, I want my life to change. I don't want my life to look like this. I don't want to be a barista forever. I don't want to be living in this apartment forever. I want to experience more of life, but it just feels like it's been happening in a pretty brutal way recently <laughs> where I'm like, you know, it could be a little gentler. <laughs> it could be a little more chill for a little longer than two weeks before some more crazy ass shit happens. This is 25. 
So, July 14th, happy fucking Bastille Day. We're restarting. It's 7.08 p.m. I am going to have a chill little night, some journaling. I feel like I've been doing a lot of energy reset shit. I've been doing a lot of yoga, journaling, lighting candles, incense. I have been doing it all. Full moon is next week. I can only hope and pray. As you saw, I decluttered my room. Like I am putting in the work to cleanse whatever's going on in my aura. I'm a good person, but something's stuck to me, man. Something's leeching onto me, creating fucking chaos. All this to say, um, hi, I'm Cassie. This is a chaotic time for you to be entering my life. So welcome. And uh, I'm gonna chill tonight. We'll start it again tomorrow, just with some easy stuff. I need to research health insurance tomorrow because I'm losing my parents at the end of next month, August, my birthday month. My birthday is a week and, no, a month, sorry. A month and three days away. <sighs> That's all she wrote. I did not sleep very well last night. <clears throat> These are the first words I'm now speaking. I fell asleep okay, but oh my god. I fell asleep okay, but I woke up at like five o'clock and felt so tired but could not fall back to sleep for like two hours. And then I fell back asleep and then woke up at nine. Um, and I'm feeling really weird. I took my temperature and my fever hasn't come back, but maybe it's just hot. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm just gonna do like a quick run and then I packed up my bands to do my physical therapy exercises there. Bring in a little bar to have on the way, and then I'll eat a real breakfast when I get back. Man, I'm feeling strange. I don't know what kind of strange it is, but there's always something going on. My voice sounds crazy. My hair looks kind of crazy too. <sighs> Buckle up for another tale of love from Kathy Paulson. I had work this morning from 7.30 to 1.15 was supposed to be my shift. I wake up feeling pretty tired, even though I got quite a bit of sleep. I just felt very fatigued this morning, but it's my first day of the work week. It's my Monday, even though it's Tuesday. So I was like, eh, I've got a case of the Mondays. I ate a good brekkie. Once I got to work, I ate as well. Drink a bunch of water, first thing. Had my little coffee. I just had half a shot because sometimes coffee has been making me feel weird lately. Say hello to tiny cat. Around 10, 10, 15-ish, I started feeling so lightheaded. I was feeling shortness of breath. I was feeling like I couldn't breathe. I've never passed out in my life, but I feel like that is the sensation I was approaching. And I had been feeling some kind of like chest tightness all morning um if you're new here i have chronic back pain so i woke up feeling like upper back tightness which sometimes translates into rib cage tightness i was like that's just what i'm experiencing right now like that's what's going down but the shortness of breath kept increasing and then i was like no i feel weird as hell so i was like hey i'm gonna go sit down to my coworker. we weren't too busy luckily i'm a barista so i'm like on my feet running around too i go sit down I have a little snack, I have some water. I start to feel a little better, but I come back upstairs and my coworker's like, you look so pale right now. I messaged um, my friend Reed, who's also like the one that was in charge of people being at stores today. And I was like, I'm feeling weird as fuck. Like, do you mind if I, is it okay if I leave early? Like, I feel like I should go to urgent care. I left work a little early and by then I was feeling pretty normal. Like I was not feeling lightheaded. The spell had kind of passed. So I was like, maybe I just had a fucking panic attack that just came on for no reason. I felt kind of crazy at this point. I went to urgent care anyways, because I've just had so much going on. They ran an EKG 
They took my blood pressure. I've got my finger pricked for my glucose levels. And after all of that, um, they determined that I should probably go see a cardiologist. I'm feeling okay now. It's 140 and I'm about to go to physical therapy and just like tell them I need to take it easy. I already had the appointment scheduled, plus I'm experiencing upper back pain. Like they're gonna help me with that. Um, I've been told to drink Gatorade or just like any electrolyte thing. So this is what I'm starting with. Another potential thing that's wrong with me. They were like, worst case scenario, you've got like a blood clot or you're gonna have a heart attack. And I was like, that's awesome. I also had this other gynecological issue that I'm not gonna go into detail here, but I basically have had an issue that the gynecologist doesn't know what's going on since the end of April. I'm finally going to a dermatologist later this week because that's what they told me to do um, to see if they can figure out what's going on, but I have had gynecological pain since then. It started to go away and then came back. I am just a true circus of ailments and I just sobbed to my mom on the phone on my walk home like I'm gonna die before I walk over to my physical therapy appointment I wanted to show you on the bright side I ordered some makeup from Colourpop and it just came I'm actually so excited Yee! so my mission for this was sparkles I want sparkles I want shimmer that's the kind of makeup I want because I've been doing fun eyeshadow looks recently and I just wanted some more options so this First thing, something that I actually did not put in my cart. It was just there and it wouldn't let me remove it. So it was only five bucks, so I, I bought it. Um, it's just a little eyeshadow palette. Some pretty shimmery shades and some pretty matte shades. I do love their packaging. It feels so nice, even though it's not expensive makeup at all. So this palette is called Sparkler. They were having a huge sale, so I literally spent only $30 on all of this stuff. I don't know if it's still going on. Next, I got this heavy petal eyeshadow palette. It's like heavy, honestly. It's so pretty. And it's just like a bunch of shimmery shades and pastel shades. Lots of shimmer, lots of peachy kind of tones. Eee, I'm so excited. I got three of their just super shock shadows, which are just like super sparkly eyeshadows. This one is called Kale Yeah, and it's just a electric blue shimmer shadow. This one's called Blogger. It's just a nice gold. We've got this pretty pink one called Ferreo. I love this pink. And then I got a new highlighter because I use blush and highlighter every day. And I thought I'd try something new other than the CoverGirl palette I have. And this is called Flexitarian. That's the ColourPop haul. That's my urgent care experience. Shout out to my friend Reed for literally staying with me the whole time. And he was just working on his laptop in the lobby, but he waited with me until I knew that I was okay. And I am so loved and cared for by my friends. Like I am truly the luckiest. I have the best friends ever and I'm so grateful. Even though it feels as though my life is falling apart. It's 1.45, gotta walk to physical therapy. It's also a 95 degree day in New York City, so it's hot as hell. I'm gonna head over there and be physically therapized and I'll see you when I get back for a chill evening and scheduling a cardiology appointment. Peace. breaking out and I'm having a back spasm. It hasn't happened for a while. This used to happen all the time, but I haven't had one in a while and I'm in pain. It's better now. About an hour ago, I was literally laying here like having trouble breathing because my rib cage was like contracting. So I found a position that feels better, but I literally last night turned my light off at 6 p.m. and I think I fell asleep at 11 and then I woke up at three. So I laid in my bed for 11 hours, but I think I only got like four hours of sleep. And the rest of the time I was just like laying there. I had work this morning, but I took an ibuprofen before work just because 
work is not where I want to be suffering right now. I mean, I don't want to be suffering anywhere, but I need to work because I need to make money to live. So for the last few days, my left shoulder has been feeling really weird and tight. So my physical therapist did a ton of work on my left shoulder and it's feeling so much better today. But now I'm having like a weird spasmy sensation in my right shoulder, which usually the right side of my body is like kind of okay. So I'm just laying here. I have therapy in about an hour. I was going to potentially go hang out with some friends later, but I'm feeling like I'm not gonna be able to do that unless I take more ibuprofen, but I'm probably gonna have to take more ibuprofen at work tomorrow, so I don't wanna take that much ibuprofen. This is the pain journey that you, that I've talked about a lot, but I did not vlog during. This is it. It's me laying here, hating, feeling this way. And then my muscles spasm. This is a really candid vlog, you guys. And I haven't even told you the big thing. I'm not ready to talk about it. Peace and love. A 90 degree day in New York City can stop me from a lot. But one thing it cannot stop me from is eating one of my top comfort foods, ramen. I will now be eating this in my AC. Hoping someone has uploaded a fun vlog to watch for some escapism. It's four o'clock, therapy was good. I ranted about the things I needed to rant about. My back is serviceable, not fully better, but much better than it was before. I can breathe and talk right now. Tiny really wants to be fed, but I'm not the one to do that. Mel will be home soon. We're gonna have a chill night, as we have been. Mm -hmm.